Hi, my name is Friday. Welcome to my channel. To all my subscribers, thank you for watching. And to those of you that are not subscribed, subscribe and join the fun. For the first craft, we need one of these rectangle boxes, one large popsicle stick, some chloroform, some moss. Now, the only, my Dollar Tree only carried the reindeer moss, so I'm using that. Some white chalk paint and some succulents. These did not come from the Dollar Tree, but the Dollar Tree does carry them. And the Dollar Tree is a lot lighter, which is perfect for this craft. The first thing you want to do is cut your popsicle stick in half. Hot glue it on the inside to cover up these holes. And then paint it with chalk paint. I am only going to paint the sides, the top, and part of the inside. I'm not going to bother with the bottom. Okay, while your box is drying, the next step is to trim these down. I just kind of guessed about an inch. And then I'm going to take my blocks, and my floral blocks, and I'm just going to cut them in half. And then I'm going to trim them to fit inside my box. It doesn't have to be perfect. But the flat side is going to go on the bottom of the box and hot glue those down. The next step is just to line the edges with your moss. After you've done that, determine how you want your succulents. And then I'm just going to put them in there. I'm going to poke a hole and then I'm going to pull it out. And where that hole was, I'm going to fill it up with hot glue because I want it to stay. And do that all around and that project will be done. And there is the finished project. I love this. I might hang it on the wall. If I do, I know I'm going to need a strong uh, sawtooth hanger. But I absolutely love this. On to the next craft. For the next project, you're going to want one of these wall decor signs. I'm going to use this side, take the sticker off, and I sanded the whole thing. Just a light sand. And this foil backsplash wall sticker that says keep life simple. And some foliage, of course. The first thing you want to do is paint your edges black. And next, I'm going to place this over here my keep life simple and I'm gonna trim around here and then when I put my sticker on then I can flip it over and take my exacto knife and cut it out okay I couldn't find my sharpie but I just wanted to give it some detail around here and I know this paint pen will work but it will rub off if you scratch it off the sharpie works a lot better on this the sharpie will stay so just grab your sharpie and just Fill in and add some detail. It gives it more depth. And when you're done, go ahead and attach your foliage. I'm going to put some up here. What I'm going to try and do is cover this up with foliage and this too. I'm just I just mainly want to keep life simple showing. Okay, this is how this project tur turned out. I did use this glass paint brush marker to give more detail on the edges and on the K and the S right here. These things are great. Buy these if you see them. But I absolutely love how this came out. On to the next project. For this craft, we want one of these crates, some floral form, jute, antique wax, some foliage, some little foliage, six popsicle sticks to jumbo, one dowel, these dessert glasses, and chalkboard tags with some embellishments. Actually, I was going to use these and put a block so they stood up a little bit and put jute around there with some foliage, but I found I have a whole bunch of these. These are actually, I get them from the Olive Oil Company store nearby, and it's infused olive oil and balsamic vinaigrette, but I love the little design on there. So I have tons of these because I always like to sample different flavored olive oils and balsamic vinaigrettes. So this is what I'm going to use. The first thing you want to do is take your popsicle sticks. You want to cut two of them 
to fit here. I trimmed off three quarters of an inch. So you want two like that, and then you want two that fits inside your box. And then two I'm just going to leave for now. And then you want one dowel, and you want it to fit perfectly along your box. And we're going to take all the wood pieces and I am going to paint them with the antique wax. You know, I keep saying I'm going to paint with antique wax, but actually what I'm doing, trying to get in the grooves right now, is I'm just putting it on and then I rub it off. So don't paint it. It's kind of like when you're staining. Just rub it on there and rub it off. And then if you want it darker, you just keep applying more. Or if it's too much, you can sand it off. So that's how I get that look. Okay, the next step is to take one of your sticks that's going to go inside and make sure it's going to fit with whatever you're using here. So mine is, looks like it's going to be perfect in the middle to hold everything. So I'm just going to kind of smash my foam down makes a line for me to cut it. And I'm going to cut it down. And then I'm going to trim a little bit. I don't need it to go that up that high. And that will work for me. Same on the other side. And now before I I glue it in there. I am going to paint just the front and the sides. The next step is to glue your block foams together. Okay, I'm just setting mine in for now. Because what I want to do is put this in here and I want it to be flush with the top, so I need to know where it's going to go. And then I'll pull it out. I'm going to glue my other one underneath it. Try to get it centered. And then I can glue this one on top. Now I can glue the bottom and place it in. This is mainly just to hold my flowers in place. Next, these sticks, I'm going to mark them and cut it to right in here. And I'm going to get four pieces out of this one and four pieces out of this one. After you cut your pieces, glue two of them together. And then I'm going to glue them here. Like that. And then when they're cool enough, I'm going to place them in here. I need to balance them out. Just as long as my bottles can fit in there. And I am going to use wood glue on there. That way it gives me enough time to situate it. And I'm also going to use wood glue on my sides and on my dowel. While I'm waiting for my wood glue to set up, I am going to use these rub-on transfers. I used the ones that was up at the top. And then I'm going to use these stickers and put my initials FJS, which is my name initials not the initials of my channel and these things I just love these red bone transfers they're so easy to put on and I think the green against the black just really makes it pop you just rub them on if you can use a like a credit card debit card if you don't have um, one of these things and they're just so pretty So I'm going to finish that and put my initials on, put the string, I had a string for this, I got to find it. Okay, so just to show you guys a trick I do, 
when I use wood glue, I use masking tape, and I just put it really tight on there to hold in that dowel while it dries, as, as well as on the side here. I did make my cute little sign, and all I did was just tie a knot in there. And I did not tie a knot. Actually, what I do when I do these is I loop it not once, but twice. And then it kind of stays. Not really. I mean, it's not a knot, but it, it, it stays good enough to where I can drape it over my bottle and it's not going to fall any further. So as soon as that dries, I'll put my foliage in. And there is the finished project. I think this came out really cute. I did not paint the bottles. I could have, but I chose not to. So until next time, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Stay safe.